the Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. School year 2020-2021, commencement exercises is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth commencement exercises of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. May we request everyone to please rise for the processional march. Let's all welcome the entrance of the maze. The maze bearer is our school registrar, Mr. Kenneth Roy Benes. The maze symbolizes the institution's governing authority, and it's only present when the president and the board of directors are in attendance. As an ancient symbol of authority, it reminds us with educational institution like the Immaculate Conception Polytechnic, our custodians, both of the traditions of learning and the power that they bestow upon those who come to learn. The entrance of the non-teaching personnel. The faculty members of Hotel, Restaurant, Cruise and Tourism Operations The faculty members of Information and Communication Technology The faculty members of Accountancy, Business and Management The faculty members of General Academic Strand
the faculty members of Humanities and Social Sciences. The faculty members of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Head of the Department. Academic Council. Board of Directors The school director. The school vice president. Our school president, Attorney Normita L. Villanueva. Let's all welcome the entrance of colors. Please remain standing for the Thanksgiving prayer to be led by Dr. Alicia O. Mateo, Board of Director, to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem.
Let us all stand and pray with me. In the name of the Father, and out of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. To the Holy Triad, how wonderful are the works of your hands as we gather here today to celebrate this grand milestone. We pray for our graduates today. We thank you so much for this love and for the works you are continuing to do in their lives. They are a gift to us and to many others. And during this season of new beginnings, we ask that you would keep their footsteps firm and remind them that you are with them always. May they sense the freshness of your spirit over their lives in amazing ways. May they be strengthened, instilled with hope for the new roads you have in store for them. And today, we lift our students straight into your tender care because we know that's the best place they could ever be. We pray for their protection. We ask that you would hide them in the safety of your powerful presence. Our world is currently anxious, fearful, and uncertain. We pray that our graduates will be filled with courage and strength, that they may be a light to their families, relatives, colleagues, friends, and neighbors in these uncertain times. We ask for your wisdom and clear directive, directions over their lives, that you would give them understanding beyond their years. We pray that you would direct their steps, that your plans for them would prosper, that every place you have destined for them to walk would be paved clear. Allow every gift and treasure you have placed in inside their lives to grow, develop, and flourish to bring you glory. We ask that you would teach them your ways and fill them with an unquenchable desire to learn your word. Give them a compassionate spirit and the wisdom to look beyond and within their hearts. We pray that you would surround them with friends, leaders, and mentors who would challenge them to press closer to you. We pray that you would give them boldness and courage to face challenges set before them with the confidence and peace that can only come from your spirit. We ask that you'd raise up your greatness in their lives and greatness in their generation, willing to stand strong and true, passionate for you, believing that you have designed them for purpose and good works, which you have planned and prepared for all of them. We thank you for the Immaculate Conception Polytechnic and all the people behind, board members, administration, and faculty members, for the love and support they have poured to these graduates. We pray for longer and more years in continuity to serve and be a part of this community. We raise everything to you in your mighty name, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. To welcome us for today's commencement exercises, may I present to you Ms. Desiree Faye Pangilinan, 
Class Salutatorian. This method of learning proves to be more complicated and challenging to us students, teachers, and parents. It brought about sudden changes in our daily life activities. More modifications were practiced in our homes. What used to be the dining table now serves as workplaces and online classrooms as well. What used to be just our living room with sofa and stools, once a place for relaxation and entertainment, now converted into thrones of knowledge. Internet connections, formerly acquired for luxury purposes, became a necessity for online classes. And with the increasing demand for internet came the instability of the connections, which oftentimes affects the student's performance during discussions. Lockdown was imposed. Going outside was highly discouraged. And to this, our interpersonal relationships with classmates, teachers, and friends were compromised. However, we must always remember there are always two sides in a hoi. There may be a lot of unpleasant occurrences this year, yet we were rewarded with the abundance of time. Time to be with our family and time to rekindle the fainting bond among the family members and relatives. Prior to this pandemic, needed family bonding time had been a luxury due to the fast pace of living in our society. The present situation had brought us an ideal time for self-reflection and gave us the realization that the Almighty God would like us to take a pause and to renew our relationship with Him and also with the Mother Nature. This year has been an opportune time to contemplate on ourselves and on our virtues. Honestly, we had encountered a lot of temptations and possible lapses that we may commit during this school year. We experienced the urge not to attend the synchronous classes or what we usually call Zoom meetings due to unstable internet connections. And sometimes, we were tempted to do activities that were not part of our academic undertakings. There was also this inclination to cheat during exams and quizzes, knowing that no one monitors our actions. With these various factors, fortification of the values among us students need to be reinforced to avoid compromising the moral values of the hope of the nation the youth. Everyone had to work harder to ensure that this generation come out as productive and responsible people of the society. Aside from our teachers, our friends and peers served as our role models who encouraged us to follow the proper netiquette and gave their fervent support by lending us their ears and offering us comfort and advice for someone who goes through the same experiences. Indeed, online or offline, our classmates have been our companions who greatly relate to our happiness and pain. Fond memories of the last time we had face-to-face -face classes still surfaces in my mind from time to time. As a sort of reflection, it is quite unfortunate that we all started the school year without personally seeing each other and our graduation ceremony has to be celebrated in that way as well. On the other hand, it is because of these experiences that we understood the deeper meaning of the words bond and resiliency. We also understood the importance of the things we have taken for granted when all was well, such as safety, order, proper hygiene, and the love and care of our beloved ones. As they say, everything happens for a reason. This may be the end of our high school journey, but for me, I view it as a beginning of a new chapters of our lives. We thought that surviving the school year was an impossible feat to achieve. However, with the great help of our alma mater, the Immaculate Conception Polytechnic, and most importantly, the Almighty God's guidance, what seemed to be impossible has been done.
classmates, we are now gathered in this important celebration, viewing this live program of our virtual graduation ceremony as one. And in this moment, where all our efforts and hard work will be given due recognition, let us embrace this occasion with utmost hope and faith that though we are apart from each other, we will stand united as members of class of 2021. Finally, let me open these four commencement exercises by welcoming you all to this graduation ceremony of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic Senior High School Class of 2021. A pleasant day to everyone and God bless us all. For the presentation of candidates for graduation, may I call our school director, Professor Mary Ann T. Marcello. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic Senior High School, school year 2020-2021. Presenting the 215 candidates from the Information and Communications Technology. 319 candidates from the hotel, restaurant, cruise, and tourism operations. 347 candidates from the accountancy, business, and management. 23 candidates from the general academic strand. 392 candidates from the Humanities and Social Sciences. 308 candidates from the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. 1,604 For conferring of graduates, may I present to you Attorney Normita L. Villanueva, School President. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education by the Board of Directors of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic as president of this institution and with the recommendation of the school director and after having fulfilled all the requirements of K-12 curriculum, I now confirm you as graduates effective May 11, 2021 with all the rights and privileges appurtenant thereto. Congratulations. For the introduction of the guest speaker, may I present to you Dr. Neil B. Mateo, School Vice President. This task of introducing our guest of honor and speaker is a great privilege. I know this one is difficult, 
but the thought that Her Excellency is a woman of virtue and simplicity, I feel delighted to introduce her to everyone. Her Excellency earned her economics degree from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, in 1986 and finished law at University of Nueva Caceres in Nagas City. She is publicly known for being a lawyer and servant leader that empowers and educates the marginalized about their rights under the law. Moreover, she is popularly known as the wife of the late Interior Secretary Jesse Robredo. She entered the political arena in 2013 and won as representative of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur to continue the legacy of good governance of her husband. During her productive term in Congress, she was one of the principal authors and co-authors of laws, and some of these are the Tax Incentive Management and Transparency Act, the National Children's Month Act, the Open High School Act, an act establishing and appropriating funds for the open high school system, the Graphic Health Warnings Law, a law prescribing the printing of graphic health warnings on tobacco products. She was called upon to run for vice presidency and assume the second highest elected post in the country. She carries the flagship of anti-poverty program, Angat Buhay, an endeavor inspired by six key advocacy areas, including food security and nutrition, women empowerment, education, health care, rural development, and housing. She also launched Storia ng Pag-asa, a program that aims to spread and hope and positivity by featuring extraordinary stories of ordinary Filipinos through words and portraits, films shown at events, exhibits, and social media. In the midst of pandemic, she is a living inspiration to the youth and to all of us. Our commencement speaker is still going above and beyond in serving Filipinos by bringing the office of the vice president closer to the people despite the risk brought by COVID-19 pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor to present to you the Immaculate Conception Institution's commencement speaker and the vice president of the Republic of the Philippines, Honorable Maria Leonor Leni G. Robredo. Let us give Her Excellency a warm welcome. My warmest greetings to the administration, faculty, and staff of the Immaculate Conception Institutions, Attorney Normita Villanueva, School President, Dr. Neil Mateo, School Vice President, to the parents and guardians, families and friends, and of course to the graduates and completers. Congratulations on a job well done. This might not be the celebration you had in mind, but just because we cannot be physically together doesn't make today any less joyful or meaningful. If anything, the context in which you achieve this milestone only makes it even more admirable. Celebrate this moment with your families, friends, and loved ones. I am proud of all of you. I know it has been a very challenging year for everyone. Cases are reaching record highs even after a year of the pandemic. COVID-19 continues to disrupt the way we relate to each other, the usual divisions between work and home life, and the way we impart our knowledge have changed. Even our education system is feeling the strain. With a sudden shift to blended learning, teachers and learners have been forced to move their interactions online. This proved to be a challenging transition, especially because not everyone had access to the internet or to gadgets needed for school. A lot of us remain anxious, including many parents who have had to adjust to working from home while supporting their kids' learning. All of us ask, what will tomorrow look like? 
how do we navigate the uncertainties? What is the role of the youth in times like this? Where are we most needed? And where do we even start? There are no easy ready-made answers for these questions. But as I always say, there is no better way to respond but to move outward and forward. Outward by resisting the impulse to shrink back to bubbles of self-interest, by extending ourselves and widening our circles of compassion, by upholding the dignity of every human being, regardless of whether they are family or friend or stranger, and forward, by gritting our teeth and doing the little things that inch us closer to our goals, focusing our full energies on whatever task may be at hand. As young people, this can be as simple as studying hard, honing your craft, or directing all your actions towards your chosen advocacies, which benefit our fellow men. I know many of you have big grand plans for the future, to become doctors and scientists, lawyers and engineers, teachers and journalists, among many others. The pandemic may have brought much of our lives to a halt, but it also calls upon us to pursue our dreams with even deeper resolve, with a broader vision of who these dreams are for, not just for you and those in your immediate circles, but for your community, your country, and for the whole of humanity. And if we are to weather this crisis and build a truly better normal, we need more young people like you to be engaged, given pathways to contribute to society, and empowered. We need more innovators, trailblazers, and change makers from your ranks. My dear graduates, you are our hope. No matter what lies ahead, stay on the side of compassion. Help others wherever and whenever you can. Be kind and be brave. Be honest and empower others to likewise be kind, brave, and honest. Speak out against lies. Stand up for those who are being silenced. Lift up the fallen. Remember, you are never too young to make a difference. You are not just young people. You are Filipinos, capable of charting the future of the communities you belong to. Your creativity, energy, and dynamism are exactly what we need right now as we build a better normal, a world that is fairer, kinder, and more humane. Once again, to all our graduates and your loved ones, congratulations, and I wish you all the best. This is just the start of bigger things for all of you. Maraming salamat at mabuhay kayo niya. Let us now proceed with the awarding of medals for academic excellence. May I call Ms. Priscilla Gutierrez, academic head. It is my honor to present to you the Academic Excellence Awardees of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic Senior High School, School Year 2020-2021. Palizada Kaila Isabel from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Tolentino Grisa Jane from Accountancy, Business, and Management. <laughs> Reyes Kim Lowell from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. <laughs> Babor Maria Nino Fe from Accountancy, Business, and Management.
Kadampong Jomar Nazer from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Guevara Allison from Accountancy, Business, and Management. Robes Bernard from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Mendoza J. Judy from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Gravador Aliyah Regine from Accountancy, Business, and Management. Ang Regine Lian from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Gonzalez Aliza from Accountancy, Business, and Management. Ilaw Jenny from Humanities and Social Sciences. Tani Lucille from Humanities and Social Sciences. Bantige Trisha Angel from Accountancy, Business, and Management. Antonio Joan Kaila from Humanities and Social Sciences. Vilano Mark Michael from Humanities and Social Sciences. Polycarpio Ira Clarice from Accountancy, Business, and Management. Salvador Carl Roy from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Willard Jobert from Humanities and Social Sciences. Pangilinan Desiree Fay, our class salutatorian from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Tanig Mark Joseph, class valedictorian from Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Congratulations. For our induction of graduates to the Alumni Association, may I present to you Ms. Dawn Angela De La Torre, ICP alumna. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name, a member of the ICP Alumni Association, Class of 2021, do solemnly swear as my bounded duty to abide by the Constitution and bylaws of the Association, its precepts and objectives, promote and uphold a good name of my alma mater and practice my profession to the best of my ability and accepted ethical standards. So help me, God. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Loyalty. May I present to you, Mr. Robert Willer, Excellence Awardee.
Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, the graduates of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic, promise to uphold the dignity, honor, and prestige of the institution. We will carry on as we live the portals of our alma mater, the wisdom and value taught to us to be worthy citizens of our country. We will defend the rights and privileges of the school as sons and daughters of our alma mater and the success of all. For the address of thanks, may I present to you Mr. Mark Joseph Tanig, Class Valedictorian. everyone who are tuning in today's program. Before I commence my speech, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our beloved school president, Attorney Normita L. Villanueva, our school vice president, Dr. Neil B. Mateo, our school director, Professor Mary Ann P. Marcelo, the highly esteemed board of directors, who are ever patient and supportive, our persevering strand coordinators, led by the academic head herself, Ms. Ma Priscilla U. Gutierrez, the hardworking teaching and non-teaching bodies of Immaculate Conception Institutions, to our beloved senior high icons and their loved ones who are watching today's commencement ceremony, and most especially to the Honorable Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, Ms. Maria Leonor G. Robredo, who has lent her valuable time to share her wisdom to our graduates by being this year's commencement speaker, I thank all of you, as you have been the driving forces behind the success that we are celebrating today. I am deeply honored to make it here today to accomplish a noble work of inspiring the lives of many. Indeed, it is a pleasant day for all as now comes the day that the hardships of our graduating students would come into fruition. As the class is valedictorian, it is both pleasure and pressure to commence this speech. It is my utmost pleasure, as it is a responsibility vested upon me by the institution, but also a pressure, pressure to make the best out of the words that I will utter today. As I contemplate on this matter, I asked for the guidance of God. It was when I was able to realize that I want to tell a story, our story, the story behind all the success that we have today. It is a story dedicated not only for myself, but also for my fellow icons who have persevered so much during this year. It was what God planned for me to do, to speak for a definite purpose. And that is why I will be revisiting the path that led us to this very moment at the first place. The story of how we came to be successful conquerors of life challenges. As the world continues to battle against the COVID-19 pandemic, it is undeniable that hundreds of thousands of lives have been lost together with millions more suffering because of the spread of the COVID-19 virus. We, the students and teaching bodies alike, are not an exception to this crisis, as we spent an entire academic year facing the screens of our mobile devices and computers, always hoping for the soonest disappearance of the COVID-19 virus to be able to give our academic families the warmest of hugs and welcoming again. At the first place, we never even knew that 9th of March, year 2020, 
would be the last time that we will be able to see each other in uniforms. Now that I come to think of it, it is somewhat disappointing, knowing that the reunion that we longed for never came to happen. During my stay on Immaculate Conception Polytechnic, I have found myself in numerous shortcomings and challenges, to which my fragile core was shook and broken into pieces. Contrary to what most of you believe in, smart people are not immune to stress and mental health crisis. Katulad ng marami sa atin, I have also experienced crying over mounds of pending schoolworks, which I know is an experience that I share with my fellow icons. Aside from that, madalas din akong na-disappoint sa sarili ko for not being able to meet my own expectations. Just like any students, I am flawed, and I am not even ashamed to admit that I am not perfect. To err is human, and my pride and selfish desires and ambitions were the things that have made me fail many times. And yet these things have also taught me to hone myself into the person that I am today. Two years before, I would have been too afraid to admit these imperfections of mine. But now that I stand here today, I am proud that I have successfully accepted myself for who I truly am. Flawed, yet proud and thriving. In this academic year, 2020 to 2021, we have found ourselves having tenfold the difficulties that we previously had last year. On top of academic requirements and demands, we also dealt with responsibilities at home, making it even harder to keep up with lessons that we need to learn. There came many instances that I had mental breakdowns due to so much work that I had to do on top of household chores that I had to accomplish. Honestly, it was very stressful having to do mounts of schoolworks and being isolated from all of your friends who you have established as your own support system. Most of us have also found ourselves struggling to balance our time between academic and personal life, particularly those who are working to sustain their families and their education. At some point, we also experience numerous technical problems that have hindered us to have the access to the best quality of learning possible. And admit it or not, there also came a point wherein we have muttered thousands of spells directed towards internet providers here in the Philippines for their poor service. These things are only some of the difficulties that we have to go through, making us stronger and better in the process. I remember pouring my heart out to Lord and saying na, Lord, ibalik nyo na ang lahat sa dati. But despite of my pleas, Lord was silent for a purpose. And now that I stand here, addressing my fellow icons, I now know that God let us fail hundreds of times to be able to rise victorious for thousands of times back. My heart aches for longing as we continue to move forward to the next chapters of our lives. It is only now that it finally sunk in that we will now be leaving some of the individuals who we have considered as our family. It will be a void left in our hearts, knowing that the times where all of us have been together may not happen again. But much more is the pain that we feel today, knowing that we will not be able to see them personally, even just to bid a proper farewell. The COVID-19 virus robbed us this precious chance to even see our classmates and teachers, to at least say our thanks and goodbyes in person. Nevertheless, today's commencement exercise is a celebration of hope and the joyous experiences that we had in the duration of two years as senior high school students. It is a substantial event that commemorates our academic and personal growth, as well as the bonds and relationships that we were able to have. Most importantly, it is a promise that will forever bind us to one another. Mahatma Gandhi once said, and I quote, Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. During the course of this academic year, 
we had to go through so many things on top of health risks that the COVID-19 virus posed in our lives. But above everything that hindered our path to success, we stayed strong. We have conquered our fears by using our faith and discipline. But most importantly, we have triumphed over many challenges along our way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, takes a strong will and a persevering spirit to accomplish. For that, let us give a round of applause for our graduates. Now, I would like to take full advantage of this moment to thank the individuals who are the sole reason of why am I here at the first place. First and foremost, I thank God for giving me his guidance and wisdom throughout my journey as a student. It is him that enabled me to become the best that I can be in conquering endeavors I never knew I could triumph over. And for that, I will forever be grateful. To my parents, whose support and trust on me never faltered despite many challenges, I am grateful for you are able to support my dreams and ambitions, no matter how high they were. To my friends and significant other, who have been very patient and understanding of me whenever I share my frustrations and rants on life and schooling, I am thankful to all of you for giving me a strong support system. This journey has been a very meaningful path for us, but much more if we got to spend it with individuals who have loved and supported us all the way through. To STEM 12 to St. Romwald, who have been my family for the entirety of this period, I am grateful to have a home in each of you. Lastly, I would also like to thank all the adjudicators of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic for honing me and my fellow icons' intellects and academic experiences so that we could be able to be the best at all given times. It is all of you who have become our mentors and guide to the success that we are celebrating today despite many numerous challenges that have hindered us to pursue and attain the best quality of education possible. To my fellow graduates, I am very proud to say that we have been the one of the best batch of icons to ever graduate from our alma mater. We are survivors, for we have persevered to pursue our education, despite many hardships that we had to endure. So, Rejoice in the success that we are now celebrating today, for it is well-deserved. Once again, let us give ourselves a round of applause. In every moment of our lives, we have and we will be facing new obstacles that may hinder us to attain victory. Unlike this celebration that we indulge in today, there will never be a graduation ceremony from the conscious experience of life. Thus, let us make today's achievement meaningful. At any given moment, many people are in pain and sufferings, struggling with starvation, wars, diseases, and discrimination. Many of them may not ever be as privileged like us to afford education. Therefore, it is our responsibility to appreciate the privileges that we are able to have. I believe then that in the near future, the things that we have learned in Immaculate Conception Polytechnic will be more than enough for us to finally give back to our community. My beloved icons, let us celebrate for we have accomplished another momentous journey. Ang pagtatapos natin sa senior high school ay patunay na hindi lahat ng pagtatapos ay hindi maganda. Gaya ng kung paanong lumulubog ang araw sa tuwing takipsilim kasabay ng pagsibol ng ganda at kinang ng buwan. This will not be the end. Rather, it will just be a beginning of a new chapter as there is so much more to life that will further challenge us and our values. Rejoice, for this celebration is a calm before another storm. From the bottom of my heart, I wish all the very best for the future. Soar high carrying the values that we have learned from our beloved alma mater. Congratulations, my fellow icons. For this year's graduation song, Memories, life brings tears, smiles, and memories, especially during this time of pandemic. 
The tears dry, the smiles fade, but the good memories will always last forever. Graduates, this is the moment we're all waiting for. Let's all rise and sing this year's graduation song. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not, cause the tears bring back all the memories of everything we. Hello po, ako po si April May Calagos, TVL ICT student ng Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. Kung nahihirapan kayo, syempre lahat tayo nahihirapan. Fight lang. Yung mga uh, pangarap nyo, yung mga goals nyo na ma-achieve, yun yung itatak nyo lagi sa isip nyo para kahit pa paano, yun yung maging motivation nyo. Kasi yun yung gusto nyo. Fight lang tayo palagi. Somebody say your name. My name is Geraldine J. De La Cruz, ABM student from Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. Bilang isang estudyante po na ngayon lang po nakakaranas na ang new normal, marami po ako nalalanasang struggle, lalo lang po sa family. Bilang nakakatandang kapatid po, ako po gumagawa sa gawain bahay dahil nagtatrabaho po yung parents ko. Tapos yung mga kapatid ko, nag-aaral din po sila. So, feeling ko po responsibilidad ko po naturuan sila. Tapos sa internet connection naman po, wala po kami stable na internet connection so yung lola ko po meron pumupunta po po ang ibang lugar para makapag internet connection tapos wala po akong sariling cellphone so, ganun po i-prioritize po natin yung yung pag-aaral kasi po magagamit po natin sa future kaya laban lang po Hello po, ako po si Gemma Rose J. De Regla, TVL ICT student of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. Bilang estudyante po, lahat tayo nahihirapan sa sistema kasi hindi po ito yung nakasanayan natin. Unang-una po na struggle ko is yung internet po. Bukod sa wala kami internet, may na rin po kapag, kapag cellphone, minsan po hindi po nakikisama yung cellphone sa amin. Tapos, ang kakulangan din po yung sa gadget. Meron po kasing times na... Nasira po yung cellphone ko, tapos wala pa ako magamit. Sino sa mayak na ako! Para po sa mga katulad kong estudyante na nahihirapan sa online class, laban lang. Kasi ngayon nahihirapan tayo, aangat din tayo. Pag naging successful tayo, saya na yung mararanasan natin sa future. Hindi na tayo maging mahihirapan para sa ganito. I am April May G. Calagos, a graduate of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. Lalaban tayo para sa pangarap natin. Muli po, ako po si Cherylyn J. De La Cruz, a graduate of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. Lalaban para sa pangarap ko. I am Gemma Rose J. De Regla, a graduate of Immaculate Conception Polytechnic. School year 2020 to 2021, lalaban para sa pangarap ko. For the awarding of certificates and diplomas, may we present to you Ms. Gemma O. Capuno, the Coordinator of Countency, Business and Management. It is my honor to present to you the graduates of Academic Track, Accountancy, Business and Management Strand, Grade 12, St. Agatha, Advisor, Mr. Romeo Mangahas. Agnes Shekaina Mariel D. with high honors. Alarde Princess Marie C. with high honors. Amunpon Melody D. with honors. And Oblin Yell City with high honors. Ardalis Laika L with high honors. Arugansha Eric DC with high honors. Baisa Clarence Nicole G with high honors. Bantige Trisha Angel T with high honors. 
Batika, Nicole Angeli S. Vitalo Kishel with high honors. Borromeo Regine C. with high honors. Bulawan Bernadette B. with high honors. Kalubaki Maria Elsa Shine L. with high honors. Kappa Ruby May B. with high honors. Capistrano Christine Ann B. with high honors. Cerilio Arabella B. with honors. Colanto Daniela with high honors. Datu Mariel Grace D.P. with high honors. De Guzman Claudine B. with high honors. De Vera Janine Jane P. De La Cruz Alejandria R. with honors. De La Cruz Jessica C. with high honors. De Los Santos, Darius Jules, Dizon, Mariela S. with high honors. Espiritu, Floraline Aphrodite F. with high honors. Eugenio, Joyce Elaine C. Ferrer, Maria Juliana C. with high honors. Flores, Maria Alexandra D. with high honors. Gallardo, Andrea E. with honors. Guevara, Allison with high honors. Hilario, Jasper G. with high honors. Ibanez, Jean Renz S. Hordas, Eliza Joyce, with honors. Lasha, John Kenneth Arnold T., with high honors. Yanes, Franz May C., with high honors. Makasinag, Laika May A., with high honors. Makasinag, Princess Joy C., with high honors. Marpa, Danica Joy P. with high honors. Mayo, Kenneth J. S. with honors. Mayores, Serene M. with high honors. Morente, Richelle C. with high honors. Octavio, Jezeri B. with high honors. Portos, Bianca Isabel with high honors. Portuguese, Lorena Marie L. with high honors. Ramirez, Nicole. Sasil, John Melgi. With high honors. Santos, Ira May D.C. With high honors. Talastas, Alexandra J.D. With high honors. Teburcio, Baby Ann S.D. With high honors. Tolentino, Krisha Jane A. With high honors. Toralba, Geraldine J. with high honors. Vicente, Isla J. P. with high honors. Grade 12, St. John Bosco. Advisor, Ms. Lourdes Sakmar. Ayan. 
Abbas Aliza A. Adonis Mary Joy R. With honors. Agapay April Iris. Ambid Justin Rafael S. Amplisi Danica May A. Habiso Mary Rose. Balolot Marivel A. With high honors. Bawit Adrian R. Versaba Leia D. J. With high honors. Constantino Dave Roldan P. De Guzman, Clarissa Ann P. Del Rosario, Erica G. Española, Jenny Rose P. With honors. Espino, Jasmine A. Francisco, James Andre. Francisco, Bea Bianca D.C. Galutan, Giro Rafael O. Gan, Shira May E. Garfin, Crystal Joy G. Herong, Angel M. Idara, Joanna G. Indonilia, Flordelisa O. Juan, Trisha May M. With honors. Lajau, Clarence. Lazaro, JBE. Lissing, and Margaret. With honors. Makalaglag, Trisha May B. Magwad, Rose and Y. With high honors. Manuel Angelica E. Mendoza and Bernardine A. With honors. Navo Angelica R. Nebria June Carlo P. Nieto Lori May G. Oliva Christian R. Origines, Abigail R. Pascual, Lea Marie C. Pelonia, Veronica Venice B. With honors. Pogoy, Maria Wilfreda D. Polycarpio, Micaela L. Porlaye, Charlene S. Rada Maria Christine B. Ramos Leona J A. Rapizura Angel Nicole. Renes Riza V. Roldan John Alain R. With honors. San Pedro Aliana D. Santos Angelica B. Santos Junior Billy E. Saison Jonathan O. Season Jose Yuri O. Tafala Rose Ann P. Tanay Dorilyn B. Tobias Mary Ann. Villanueva, Princess May S. With honors. Yumol, Paul J. Ron M. Grade 12, St. Daniel, Advisor, Mr. Romeo Mangahas. Adriano Angeline 
Aguilar Novea A. Alcover, Danica N. With honors. Amador, Andrea D.L. Andal, Janelle Q. Arca, Jezreel G. Archola, Mira Joy B. Balangkit, Francis Audrey Mikael D.V. With honors. Valbalosa, Princess Nicole B. With honors. Bayani, Erica Angel M. With high honors. Buena Obra, Abigail R. With honors. Cabanilla, Aprilin G. Kalolo, Hannah May M. With honors. Tanya, Barbie Irish R. With honors. Kaiko, Randall D. With honors. Clarine, Angelica A. With honors. Clarissa, Risa Zita May L. Concepcion, Arabella M. With high honors. Concepcion, Rain Jasmine M. With high honors. Quaterno, May S. Kunanan, Mika Ella L. Dakutan, Cyril H. With honors. De Jesus, Denise Lian O. De Jesus, Lazaro Gerald B. Del Valle, Kathleen Nicole C. De La Cruz, Cherilyn J. With honors. De La Cruz, Mary Ann C. Eval Joshua Francisco Mary Joy J Gala Marielle Joe G Gonzales Alexander Stephen M Gonzales Ren Christian B Holgado Jasmine Evet with honors Leonardo, Zyra May B. Malipot, John Henrik G. Mancilia, Princess April DM. With honors. Nataba, Jamie Lynn N. With honors. Olalo, Mary Ann N. With honors. Pabon, John Mark C. Payoran, Jomar T. Poso, Ronalyn L. Walenko, JPN. Raimundo, Paul John M. Recto, Cian Tea Nicole M. Saito Ayumi A. With honors. Santos Joan Carla G. Setiar Kirsten Alison. With honors. Suba Janine Darlene D. Tepait Chine May D. With honors. Valderrama Mary Grace C. Velikarya, Krisa Angelica B. Villaseran, Jessica P. With high honors. Villanueva, Desiree O. Grade 12, St. Constantine Advisor, Mr. Romeo Mangahas. Avalos Albin S. With honors. Adriano Benjamin S. 
Alangilang Nikki Jaril with honors. Ali Ashley Joy D. Alipustain Christian J. Apilido Brian James B. Bagsik Annalyn B. with honors. Balaye Jelly May B. with high honors. Bantay Altea Marie D. with honors. Bernardo Alex Gail M. Bodino Grace with high honors. Brigino Nathaniel L. Buban Charlene May M. with honors. Kabiling Dali Ann L. with honors. Celino Gina F. with high honors. Cortez John Jacob C. Cruz Janet Ann A. Dalmasho Jokail Almon A. Daong Benedict Luis L. Desulan Ines Jenny Lay L. Dechila Jericho D. Del Rosario Diane Grace C. with honors. Del Rosario Veronica R. with high honors. Del Rosario Celine Rain T. with honors. De La Cruz Christon B. De La Cruz Prince with honors. De Los Santos Samantha E. Espedido Renelin A. with high honors. Estrella Jennifer Joy B. Eugenio Angelo James F. Ferrer, Alia May B. Francisco, Derilyn T. Garde, Joren U. Gariando, Jerwin M. Gonzalez, Aliza V. with high honors. Gimba, Shira May E. with high honors. Lapik Angelica L. with honors. Lobido Roland G. Mangahas Shane U. Marabe Mark Shane F. Masiglat Mary K. B. Molina Henan S. Navarro Crystal Jane L. Oseo, Vin Marco D.C. Panghulan, Irish C. with high honors. Pascual, John Warren T. with honors. Payao, Dayan A. with honors. Polycarpio, Ira Clarice P. with high honors. Ragunton, Lexi Kyla Nicole. Rakyon, Princess Els, with honors. Sally, Elijah Chris J. Santos, John Paolo M. Sarmiento, Lara Melissa B. Solomon, Mary Ann C. Beerness, China B. Yumol, Eliza M. with high honors. Grade 12, St. Patrick, Advisor, Mr. Ryan Guevara. Alcantara, Kristen Joy DJ with honors. Alejandro, Laika Micaela M. Atanante, 
Angeline T. Babor Maria Nina F. B. With high honors. Babor Macy Janiela S. With honors. Bendanilio Arabella. Kakainanta Mark Chester R. Castillo Trisha May N. With honors. Cecista Antoinette Nicole B. Clemente Alexander M. Dalmacio John Kenneth B. De La Cruz Rizale Nicole Margaret B. With honors. De La Cruz Princess Anne. De La Cruz Alex Murphy F. Domingo, Ira Nicole C. With honors. Escol, Sherwin John B. Eugenio, Andrea C. With honors. Evangelista, Melka T. Fernandez, Giovanni V. Ferreras, Mika H. Garvin, Sheena Marie F. With honors. Grabamin, Rika May B. Gregorio, Jaisel C. Gumatay, Christine L. With honors. Jerusalem, Hannah Joyce C. Magabilin, Jerry F. F. With honors. Malak Abigail with honors Mayo Lizel Mercano Leonaline Mary S Miguel Jennifer O Mogara Janeline M Molehon Jana K R Navida Mia Jane B. With honors. Olivaiga Nicole A. Paler Nicole Grace C. Purol Ruen Jane B. Reyolope Olivia May F. Salivio Marilyn M. Salivio Mary Rose M. San Pedro Alia D. Sarmiento Ruby Rose C. With honors. Selejo Ian T. Cecilia Angel B. Sugay Arian Joyce B. Taglocop Sandy May L. Tapere Franz Andre F. Chodoro Fatima S. With honors. Trangia Angelica F. Valles Jennifer L. Velasco Leonel G. Velasco Pierre Jaime A. Verano Nicole M. Grade 12, St. Pio, Class Advisor, Mr. Ryan Guevara. Alonso, Joyce Ann D.T. Apigo, Erica C. Apuang, Liebert M. Aragones, Eliza May Z. With honors. Bernardos J and A with honors. Bernardo Mary Grace D. Kakananta John Mark S. Kapati Jesse M. Kapus Joshua Nathaniel G. Carpio Joseph Anton. 
Katiis, Viniela Therese R. Ching, Angeline B. Concepcion, Darlene K. P. With high honors. Cruzado, Mark Jericho M. Dayaw, Kyla Irish R. Dayot, Mary Joy G. With honors. De Guia, Lilibet D. O. De Guzman, Catherine Ann S. De Guzman, Zaira S. De Mesa, Lance Cyrus D.C. With honors. De La Cruz, Alfred C. De La Cruz, Elsha Marie L. With high honors. Esteban, Trisha May D.C. Jeronimo, Ryan S. With honors. Gobris, Lovely. Grabador, Alia Regine B. With high honors. Gunay, Quincy Liana C. Haushan, R.B. Miles B. Jacinto, Alisa Bernadette D.C. Lorimea, Wenli R. Malubay, Kyla F. With high honors. Mangahas, Marian Joyce D. Marco, Alena May G. Medjana, Justin O. With honors. Mendoza, Maria May G. Moncal, Jisen G. With high honors. Montalvo, Hannah Mariz M. Naz, Eliza Joy A. Nerverva, Maria Riza D. Ortega, Micaela F. Paglinawan, Julius Revo Y. Peña, Annalisa A. Polycarpio, Elaine Rose D.R. With honors. Quintana, Grisha, Shineberly B. Refil, Mark Lawrence B. Rosal, Jennifer Bates B. Sauro, Roy Jones B. Semplina, Justin B. Tukay, Lorraine C. With honors. Valencia, Jessica White. Villanueva, Luke Emmanuel P. With high honors. Igot, Grello L. Yumol, Shane Avilin S. With high honors. Grade 12, St. Scholastica, Advisor, Mr. Ryan Guevara. Antipina Ronalins G. With honors. Bitanghol, Annika Relamin M. Bunyola, Mary Joy F. Cover, Angel Nicole C. Katarungan, Mariela L. Cabite, Carlos Miguel R. With honors. Correa, Diana Joy. De Guzman, Juliana Marie C. De La Cruz, Giro V. De Quinto, Alan Jasmine R. Esmeña, Kathleen L. With high honors. Flores, Katrina Cassandra L. Galangan, Maria Angela A. Gale, Bernadette. Guma Felix, Mary Joy B. Gumatay, Nadine P. With high honors. 
Legaspi, Judy Ann R. Maputoy, Maria Gliza L. Makiling, Owen Peniel M. Navarro, Jasmine N. Ortega, Sheila May S. Palangka, Simon Vincent L. Pepe, Maria Laura P. Sia, Jeline Patricia M. Trujillo, Jigs S. Present to you, Professor Yolanda A. Bellia, the Coordinator of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It's my honor to present to you the graduates of Academic Track, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Grade 12, St. Agnes. Advisor, Ms. Veronica Balor. Asidera Dan Randi D. With honors. Alberto Leigh Emerson G. America Melody Y. With high honors. Angeles Generos O with high honors. Apolinar Maya Franzin G with high honors. Barlis Ivy Jane N with honors. Benaobra Kirk Christopher M with honors. Kadampog Jomar Nasser G with high honors. Kalong JVC with high honors. Ko Onyx Red B with honors. Dilo Lirinest Ira Jazz with honors. The Assis Sian Andre T. The Vera Jenny May P. De La Cruz Marvin R with honors. De La Cruz Renzo Miguel B. Delphine Roy with high honors. De Makutak Philip Arman B. with high honors. De Manlig Jan Medwin E. with high honors. De Neros Jeremy Lee S. with honors. Dionisio Mariel Ziljan B. with high honors. Bison Jack McEwan R. with honors. Enriquez Catherine G. with high honors. Ermitaño George Genvir P. Eugenio Miko Angelo A. with high honors. Fernandez Jan Zachary B. with high honors. Gabiota Joanna C. with high honors. Gatok Arnel V. with high honors. Gomez Christian S. Hermogenes Ira May S. M. with honors. Juan Aldre S. with honors. 
Labaro Rans Gerald R. with high honors. Magat Jonalyn J. with honors. Mendoza Cameron Lucy Drew DG with high honors. Mercolesia Mark Francis A. with honors. Molina Francis Lori with high honors. Nieto Desiree Ann B. with high honors. Nunez Ben Joseph D. with high honors. Pagoso Maria Cristina B. with honors. Palizada Kaila Isabel D. with high honors. Pangilinan Desiree Fay A. with highest honor. School Year 2020-2021 Class Salutatorian. Pascual Jasmine A. with high honors. Paulino Wendy D. with high honors. Rafanan Berhel D. with honors. Reyes Kim Lewell B. with high honors. Robes Bernard R. with high honors. Rubian Angelo DJ. Rufino Jan Deleron B. with high honors. Saavedra Albert O. Santiago Charles Jim Yuan A. Santos Julius Christian N. Valenzuela Emmanuel B. with high honors. Vicente Fiona Aimi G. with high honors. Villegas John Mark C. Grade 12, St. Romwald. Advisor, Ms. Maria Liza Virador. Ang Regina Lian S. with high honors. Asistol Rojas Angel P. with high honors. Atienza Bon Carlo F. with honors. Bayona Jezreel L. with high honors. Belhika Ederlin A. with honors. Beltran Micaela T. with honors. Benobo Friends A with high honors. Bermas Erika May A with honors. Bernabe Junior Rorabe S with honors. Bernardo Francine Jane D with honors. Bernas Jeremy S with honors. Binayo Clarice Ann G. Kabakang Renz Joshua N. with high honors. Clemente Alex T. with honors. Cruz R.B. Ann R. with honors. Dazo Kimberly S. with honors. Bison Marlet P. with high honors. Dondan Mark I.G.M. with high honors. Ekat Maria Angelica B. with high honors. Erosa Nika Joy with honors. Fetalco Janelle L. with high honors. Fuentes Erion Marcus M. Gabito Daniel Ann C. with honors. Herezola Cheska May S. with honors. Glorioso Daniel Joshua P. Gregorio Gaviel P. Jorca Daniela P. with honors. Haldo Ashley Nicole C. with honors. 
Legaz P. Edelweiss, Janine B. with honors. Legaz P. Jr. Eduardo R. with honors. Locante Toto Winston B. Marquez Hans Gabriel D. with honors. Mendoza J. Judy A. with high honors. Naval Vincent Paul with honors. Nicolas Laika Claudeth N. Obierna Catherine B. with honors. Pascual Christine Josh R. with high honors. Pascual Mary Annulet S.D. with honors. Pili Jamil with high honors. Relucio Princess Eliza C. Rosillas Jamaica Andrea D.C. with honors. Salvador Cal Roy G. with high honors. Samson Eliza Marie with honors. Santiago Angela Marcy C. with high honors. Santos Raymark C. Cesaldo Juliana Cassandra M. with honors. Sulat Paul Christian P. with honors. Sumilhig Geraldine L. Tanig Mark Joseph S. P. with highest honors. School Year 2020-2021 Class Valedictorian. Tripoli Carl David S. Velasco Roxanne M. Villamin Ezequiela Marie. Yaldua Aldrich Ball C. Grade 12, St. Angela. Class Advisor, Miss Joy Carmela Santos Serio. Asido Clendil Ann J. Acosta Eliano. Acosta Jose Luis A. Albania Alaysa with honors. Alboro Jenaya P. with honors. Antonio Jonathan A. Atanasio Adriel P. Barzaga Ralph Joseph A. Bautista Christian D. Castillo Rizame D. Celestino Raiselin E. Cordova Nancy P. with honors. Cruz Jose Enrique. Kuyag Mark Rubin R. De Jesus Mark H. De Jesus Junior Edwin S. De Leon Erica May K. with honors. Escaro Via May B. Espinosa Mike Angelo. Feliciano Maria Alexandria C. Flores Kier Marvin A. Francisco Luigi F. Galio Jan Lawrence B. with honors. Gayanilo Cyrus M. Goho Cruz Romel Ariz C. Golinao Angel B. with honors. Herao Frank Rainiel G. Joaquin Christian R. Laude John Mark M. Legaspi Enrique Jr. C. Lucanias Joshua O. Maisa Henry. 
Manlapaz Cedric D.S. Manuel Edmar C. Marquez Junior Bernardo C. Miranda Arvin M. Nantes Terence Avel B. Nepomuceno Gerald M. Nepomuceno Mel Anthony T. Neverba Francisco Jr. D. Olarte Angeline with honors. Panganiban Russell Y. Parma Jimwell N. Pascual Christian J. D. R. Ragudo Jerica D. Remperas Jos Aaron. Sak Michael D. J. Sambahon Kimberly Gale D. San Diego Tricia R. Santiago Jenny Niza R. Santos Marvin D. with honors. Torre Jet Daniel M. Tortal Maxine L. with honors. Ventura Lawrence Christian R. Grade 12, St. Angela. Class Advisor, Miss Joy Carmela Santos Serio. Asido Clendil Ann J. Acosta Eliano. Acosta Jose Luis A. Albania Alaysa with honors. Alboro Jenaya P. with honors. Antonio Jonathan A. Atanasio Adriel P. Barzaga Ralph Joseph A. Bautista Christian D. Castillo Rizame D. Celestino Raiselin E. Cordova Nancy P. with honors. Cruz Jose Enrique. Kuyag Mark Rubin R. De Jesus Mark H. De Jesus Junior Edwin S. De Leon Erica May K. with honors. Escaro Via May B. Espinosa Mike Angelo. Feliciano Maria Alexandria C. Flores Kier Marvin A. Francisco Luigi F. Galio Jan Lawrence B. with honors. Gayanilo Cyrus M. Goho Cruz Romel Aris C. Golinao Angel B. with honors. Herao Frank Rainiel G. Joaquin Christian R. Laude John Mark M. Legaspi Enrique Jr. C. Lucanias Joshua O. Maisa Henry. Manlapaz Cedric D.S. Manuel Edmar C. Marquez Jr. Bernardo C. Miranda Arvin M. Nantes Terence Avel B. Nepomuceno Gerald M. Nepomuceno Mel Anthony T. Neverba Francisco Jr. D. 
Olarte Angeli with honors. Panganiban Russell Y. Parma Jimwell N. Pascual Christian J. D.R. Ragudo Jerica D. Remperas Jos Aaron. Sak Michael DJ. Sambahon Kimberly Gail D. San Diego Tricia R. Santiago Jenny Niza R. Santos Marvin D. with honors. Torre Jet Daniel M. Tortal Maxine L. with honors. Ventura Lawrence Christian R. Grade 12, St. Eusebia. Advisor, Ms. Joy Carmela Santos Serio. Aklaw Christine Joy W. Acosta Jeffrey L. Agustin Mylin C. with honors. Año Nuevo Julian Erica S. Barbahera Patricia Ann Marie U with honors. Barcenas Bea Vanessa C with honors. Bernabe Portia Alessandra P with high honors. Bernardo Jeremy R with honors. Vitara Ryan Carlo G. Bonrostro Paula Marie B. Buena Gisela R. with honors. Castolero Jan Lloyd G. with honors. Coronel James Bryan. Quadera Jordan P. De La Serra Maria Zairine L. De La Cruz Christine with honors. Domingo Procaila T. Dormitorio John Carlo Dupagan Yukari Lloyd D Enobio Anjuar M Antico Jojun B with honors Estacchio Mark Anthony B Frades Luis Adrian M with honors Garcia Jean Alan Garcia Julian Faith C. with honors. Gonzalez Dalric Fermin M. with honors. Gustilo Christian J. B. with honors. Ignacio Mark Kevin S. Losorata Brian D. with honors. Makainan April Jack D. G. with high honors. Manzano Angelica Joy A. Mateo Angela M. Mendoza Samantha Nicole A. with honors. Menzorado J. T. with honors. Niegos Marjorie L. Oliveros James Louis D. L. Ong Honey Grace R. with honors. Ongotan Jonathan Palataw Castor Troy M Palubsanon J.R.R. Peña Cristan Neo R. With honors Perez Regime D.C. With honors Perino Raymark T. Quilosa Daniel R. Rivera Glendale L. with honors. Salem Jericho O. Tampico Ernesto III M. with honors. Verano Rizaline Cassandra B. Violenta Mark Dave M. 
Yabes Maria Nicole Angela B. with honors. Grade 12, St. Paul. Class Advisor, Professor Janet Ale. Acantilado, Rainiel Jan M. Apiag, Maria Angelica P. with honors. Atienza, Louise Colleen L. Barroso, Keen Lester C. Barroso, Phoebe Angela E. Buena, Lawrence Dave O. Castro, Miko A. Catanyag, Abigail D. L. Celestial Angie C. Contreras Kylie Angelo L. Cristobal John Paul C. Cruz John Lloyd T. Kuyak Mark Andy R. The Tour Mark Jonathan. Del Rosario Jimster DJ. De La Cruz, Mark Ryan. Domingo Carl Jerry IRA. Gabriel Jan Landrex E. Gallanosa Myla T. Gapus Andriel Francine Y. Jeronimo Kevin Brian P. Gole Cruz, Carlo N. with honors. Golosino, Bryce Nino L. Gonzalez, Franz Clarence R. Gualon, John Andre B. Gilalas, Kyle D. S. Irabon, Clarence M. Javier Darrell D.P. Laderas Jaya Eliza Marie B. Lamponi Babylon P. Makapagal Ivan F. Maglalang Wancho M. Namok John Kenneth V. Peralta John Michael C. Perez John Jet C. Pila Marie Pauline A. With honors. Pondare Angeline O. Rios Ebenezer S. Refe Aaron Christian. Resurrection, Jarone Kenneth L. Rubin Ace Pauline S. Zalazar Brian D. G. with honors. Santiago Mark Angelo J. Santos Angelito. Suelen Danica Rose M. Grade 12, St. Sebastian. Class Advisor, Professor Janet Ale. Abenir John Paul P. with honors. Acosta Josiah Royce G. Amaro Robin C. Andaya Joel L. with honors. Banyega Marian Ria Rose O with honors. Bauzon Carlos Miguel with honors. Desmonte Angelo M. Bonifacio Jan Kenneth DC. Bueno Carlos Jr. G. Kamai Jenlin S with honors. 
Cardino Edward Jonathan D. with high honors. Cruz Horace Vincent J. with honors. The Gohoy Angel H. with high honors. Dasing Erica May DG with honors. Desena Chris Jan O with high honors. De La Cruz Charlie M. Divina Gracia Savior Luis C. Elemen Axel Ross C. Antico Jester Chan G. Francisco Audrey May S. with honors. Gantan Maria Raisel Miko N. with honors. Garcia Jewel P. Hermar Leomel B. with honors. Gregorio Maria Jomel A. with high honors. Laupe Zarina May D. with high honors. Manglikmot Jan Andre L. with honors. Martinez Joyce M. with honors. Mateo Diana Rose P. Mendoza Aliana N. with high honors. Meneses Rina Yvonne P. with high honors. Morados Alvin Rex. Orbuda Kenneth S. Policarpio Mark Anthony with honors. Ramos Welmar S. Refe Roy Renzo R. Remokilio Ron Vincent DJ. Roberto Joss Wendell R. Rubian Christian DJ. Saito Keichiro A. Salvador Christopher S. Santa Lises Cristina Richie S. with honors. Santos Derek P. Sayo Nonito Juni C. with honors. Sulia Mark Nino N. with honors. Taluko China May R. with honors. Tenya Jan Mark L. Tiongson Joyce Prince D. Tubilia Angelica N. Valdez Neil Eric M. with honors. Valenzuela Jan Carlo N. Begiga Vladimir A. Victorino III Ricardo L. Villanueva Althea R. with honors. As we sing our ICP hymn, let us show our respect by facing our ICP flag. The ICP hymn. With 
pride and joy we hail our school Immaculate Conception Polytechnic our second home In here we learn to face the world our future our success to thee we hold I see I see thee, we serve not one but many, the community and all. I see thee, bless us, Lord. We give you honor and everlasting gratitude. We thank you. Mater, we are yours now and forever. We salute you and our great nation on this earth where light has dawned. Hail, hail, Immaculate Conception. Hail to the fountain of knowledge and wisdom Hail to the service of our people Hail to the promise of success and triumph for all ICP, ICP, we serve not one but many the community and all I see be bless us, Lord. Ad gloria Dei, Ave I see. Graduates. This may be the end of your journey in Immaculate Conception Polytechnic, but this will be the beginning of another quest of a higher level of knowledge, skills, and character building. I'm your Master of Ceremony, Mr. Paolo Llanera. Again, congratulations. Let's all rise for the exit of colors. Exit of the maze. The school president. The school vice president. The school director. The board of directors. Academic council. 